Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella. I'm a comic book creator. Uh, these books you see here, uh, Mella Art World, they're from my company. I did all the artwork, uh, co-creator and creator of these projects. So please stay tuned for after the video to find out how to get these. But uh, yeah, enjoy this video. I'm also a former lead designer of McFarlane Toys. I've done stuff for Toy Biz, um, Diamond Select. So yeah, enjoy. So today we're going to be reviewing uh, Starlight from the Boys, uh, uh, Amazon Prime TV show based off of Garth Ennis' comic book run. This is done by NECA. This is their uh, ultimate figures line. Um, so yeah, we'll be covering all this today. I'll give you the pros and cons. Um, but yeah, overall, um, I think it's a pretty nicely sculpted piece. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll be getting into it in a minute. Uh, right now, this is just the, the packaging for it. Always done really nice. Great designs. Um, yeah, I like what they did here. And then uh, here it is with the open window as well. So you can see how the figure is. Here she is straight up and down just to get a sense of scale uh, and just how the figure looks. Uh, keep in mind, she does not come with a base. That base is from a different figure. Uh, again, I don't know why they uh, they don't add those in. Uh, and again, for characters who fly and that kind of thing, I think it's mandatory that you should have a, a, some kind of a flight stand for these things. But, you know, that's, that's my one rant about uh, these figures and kind of all superhero figures that are supposed to fly. Um, or just if they have weak joints by the ankles, they need a stand. So here's everything she comes with. Not too much. Just uh, alternate uh, arms. Well, I guess they were supposed to be just the hands. But, um, yeah, how they did it, uh, I guess it's better that way. Because uh, female figures usually have smaller hands. So you don't want to risk breaking the pegs. So they did it by the forearms. Which, again, that's fine. No, no complaints there. Uh, and here's the alternate head where basically it's like the same face, but they painted the eyes differently. Um, when she uses her powers, they light up like that. But yeah, it's essentially the same thing. Uh, not bad. Soft hair. Um, well, soft kind of plastic, so it's you, you can move it out of the way a little bit for articulations purposes. So not too bad. And here's a close-up of the faces so you get a better look at them. You know, nicely sculpted. Um... Yeah, uh, anyway, articulation, uh, nice range side to side, uh, goes back that much, goes down this much. You could probably push it a little bit more, it is a nice ball joint in there. Uh, shoulders, um, you could put them out to the side that much, you could rotate them all the way around. It is a ball joint, uh, double hinge by the elbow, uh, hinge with a swivel for the wrist, so not bad. The forearm also turns. Um, let's see the, uh, yeah, that midsection, nice ball joint in there. So pretty good movement. It's pretty stiff, so it's solid. It holds, but not too bad. A little bit of crunch. Side to side is pretty good. Uh, legs, again, they're hindered by the skirt, but you get a double, um, uh, bend by the knee. The ankles are pretty fantastic. Um, swivel a little bit. I don't want to push it too much. Again, because it's a female figure, they usually have thinner joints. But yeah, so the ankle, it, it could go back and forth like that. Uh, there's a pin in there. Uh, you could hinge it back and forward. So yeah, you get them in, in pretty good poses with that. With those kind of stances. But yeah, and the uh, detail, detail is fantastic on it. Um, yeah, what they did with the cape, really great. Uh, the gold at the bottom, they kind of sprayed it upward like that. Uh, the sculpt work is just really impeccable. Nice hair, the texture all over the suit, paint applications. Yeah, they really nailed it. Really looks like the character a lot, even the back. Okay, so here's another nice pose for. All right, this figure, um, truthfully, I would not have probably picked her up uh, if I didn't find Homelander as well. So it was smart that they released this figure alongside with him. Because, uh, again, she wasn't my favorite character on the series. I would have much prefer like, a Billy the Butcher or one of the other characters. The, um, I can't think of her name right now. The Wonder Woman type one. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, again, the two of them, they look great together. This is a beautiful companion piece for Homelander. Um, so yeah, I'd say if you see her, she is worth picking up. So wrapping up, these two figures look amazing together. If you do see them in stores, totally worth getting. Uh, I hope NECA continues making the, the line because these figures are pretty damn nice. So yeah, give me a Billy Butcher, give me Maeve. Uh, give me all these great these characters, you know, uh, I like the series a lot on Amazon. It's super violent by the way But yeah, uh, stay tuned for after the video find out how to get uh, my amazing books uh, My current one is shadow of the kraken. It's a pirate story. That's on indiegogo. So yeah, you can still support it uh, Make sure to click the links below Be kind to one another big kick ass while you create Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, and uh, we have Through the Woods, hardcover book, written by Frankie Tartamella. Uh, all the artwork is done by me. It's a beautiful hardcover book. Take a look at this fantastic artwork. This is 98 pages, ghost story. Uh, I think everyone's going to love this thing. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, we have another fantastic project here, City of Venus. I wrote this one. I did all the artwork on it. Uh, another fantastic project uh i'm going to be putting a link in the description to all the videos and uh yeah so please check this one out and uh thank you very much both of these books are available right now and they ship immediately so uh yeah take a look at the size difference as well uh one's more in a european format and the other one's like a standard comic book and uh, we also have two uh beautiful art books here volume one and two uh, these are 52 pages each, and it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups, um, yeah, pretty much everything, and the kitchen sink. So, uh, yeah, these are also available, and they're on the City of Venus campaign.